Hey guys and welcome to the light source tutorial for cycles in Blender. In this video we're going to go over exactly what a light source is in Blender and the different ways you can do it in cycles specifically. Now in cycles there are two different ways to add light sources. The traditional way is using lamps which we actually have one here by default. You may have wondered what this was. This is a lamp. It emits light from a single point or in this case from a single point. We'll go over the different types of lamps in a second. The other way you can add light sources in cycles is using meshes. So in cycles you can actually create a mesh for example this cube or a plane or whatever you want and give it an emission texture and that will actually if we just change this to emission real quick that will actually emit light so I can go ahead and add a quick plane here at the bottom just to show you how this works and you can see the mesh now emits light so you can actually use that mesh as a light source now those are your options let's go over the different types of lamps now if we go ahead and take this emission texture and turn it back to diffuse so that we can actually see the lighting effects of the lamp itself. So I'm going to go ahead and select our lamp here and go into rendered view. And you'll notice that there is a light source coming from the top left. Now if I go ahead and move this over here, you'll notice the light source is now coming from the top right. And if I move it in rendered mode, you'll notice that there's actually a moving lamp in the scene. So that is our lamp as our point lamp. And you'll notice that the light sort of radiates from wherever that point is and the intensity of it falls off based on distance so if you get the lamp closer it will be brighter so a point lamp is basically a lamp in 3d space in a single point in 3d space where light radiates from all directions and then has a fall off now there's a couple other lamps including the sun lamp which is practically the exact opposite of that not only is it no longer location dependent, if we go ahead and show you, oh Jesus Christ, that's really bright. Let's turn that down to one. And if we go ahead and show you this sun lamp, no matter where I put the sun, and we can see the direction is from here, especially with the shadow there. The direction comes from the top left. If I bring this sun behind the cube, which again with a point lamp would mean that the light is going to be completely gone. But if we do that, and we hit shift C, it makes no difference. The sun actually can be anywhere, and I'm actually moving it in 3D space right now, as you can see. It doesn't make a difference. It does. You can't tell. However, if you rotate it, I'm rotating it now, it will change the lighting of the scene. So for sun lamps, the only thing that they care about is the vector, not the location. So it's completely global, and no matter where it, this is in the scene, it will light your scene using the vector that which you define with the rotation of the sun lamp. Now the next type of lamp is a spot lamp, which is basically a spotlight. If you guys know what a spotlight is, it's pretty simple. It will release light in a conical shape. And if we go ahead and go into rendered mode, it's actually kind of dark. We'll bring that back up to 100. And as you can see, the lamp comes from that direction. You can spin it. This is pretty intuitive. It just works like a spotlight. So that's pretty cool. We also have the Hemi, but that's actually not supported in cycles at the time. It's typically used in Blender Render. So right now, if you use it, it'll simply be interpreted as a sun lamp, as you can see here, super bright. And then we have the area lamp, which is basically the point lamp if it only had one direction to look at. So as you can see here, if we just put this right next to the thing, there's a very sharp angle because it only looks at one side of that lamp. So this is basically like a spot lamp, but with 180 degrees for its parameter. Same thing, basically. So if you just use that as a guide, you'll understand area lamp pretty well. So those are the different types of lamps you can use in Blender. And that's it for the introduction to light sources in Cycles.